Good morning, everybody. Uh, just wanted to give a quick status and update and talk about a couple things. Um, since part of why I'm doing this, and once again, still getting great feedback, and do really appreciate everyone's time, uh, the likes, and the shares, uh, uh, sending me messages. Uh, my friend Jesse this morning sent me a few videos. Uh, one was on tea. I'm going to put a link to it below on uh, drinks that actually fight cancer. Um, so uh, I'm trying to drink, uh, I guess the goal is three to five a day. So I'm going to add that to my daily routine since I do have uh, a pretty good um, uh, daily routine. You know, I start with a cold plunge. I go outside grounding, try to get 12,000 steps a day. Uh, I have keto bulletproof, whatever you want to call it, coffee. I'll give all those details. I do try to drink the, the, I have a tea first thing in the morning, usually green tea, although the video is actually saying black tea is pretty good, but uh, tea, tea does a lot, uh, especially green tea. I think it, it actually promotes your body releasing um, stem cells from your bone marrow. Uh, again, not a doctor and not a professional in any way. This is just uh, so it's not medical advice, but this is what I'm doing. Uh, the, the problem since my diagnosis with all this is I've been trying everything. And that's a little bit I'll talk, talk about is just being overwhelmed. Like every day there's, I, I really feel like there's all these things. So the good side of it is that I do feel really empowered. Um, I'm not just doing the chemo. Uh, but it is a little overwhelming. So I'm taking peptides. I'm taking creatine. I'm trying to do a band workout every day. I'll talk more about that because it's so important uh, when you're going through chemo to protect your muscle mass. <clears throat> um, again, one of the side effects of chemo uh, is weight loss. Uh, I've held steady at about 240. I bounced between 237 and 240. Uh, and my weight can fluctuate, uh, you know, plus or minus three pounds easy. Um, when I was heavier, it's easily. I could do plus or minus six pounds, especially when I'm fasting, doing those kind of things. And like I said, it's, I'm really doing stream of consciousness right now. Um, <clears throat> you know, because, uh, like I said, people people are always sending me articles and all these alternative methods. And, and uh, that's part of what I want to say is there's so much out there. So, like, I'm taking multiple different types of mushrooms. Turkey tail is supposed to be um, uh, real, real good part of a protocol for this miraculous cancer cure. Um, and of course, uh, when I beat this cancer, and I'm very confident I will, um, again, the prognosis is very good. Uh, and and that, that, that's that been one of the interesting thing. You know, the first couple of weeks, there was there was a, a lot of fear there. This is, this is exactly the type of story you hear, where I was in relatively good shape. I was working out three to five times CrossFit a week. Um, usually got 10,000 or more steps a day, so I was relatively active. I didn't have the greatest diet, and I did drink a little too much beer on weekends. Um, but it was a, literally, I could have had that prognosis that said, uh, yeah, here, there's nothing we can do for you, and you'll be dead in six months. I didn't get that. I got. I haven't said I'm not in danger, but um, I've talked before about how the they, they claim a 90% cure rate for Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, I think it's actually significantly better than that, mainly because um, it being bimodal, which all that means is that there's a lot of people that are young that get it, and then there's a lot of people that are older get it. And, you know, I'm middle-aged, as crazy as that sounds. I guess i got to accept that fact. Um, so because of the older you are, probably less... Um, robust to fight off diseases so that 90 percent is actually probably actually better so but that's what they quote and that's that is a horrible statistic to you know lump everyone together right someone someone who's 20 and young and fit and and uh healthy fighting this has a much better chance than someone who's who's say 85 and probably has a number of other comorbidities or, or things they're dealing with uh but that was, a, I also got a message from Tabitha, you know, she, she was caught, caught up on my videos. And as I said before, my doctor has not said word one about my diet. So there is this, these alternating theories, 
um, you know, that instead of the, the standard genetic um, theory of cancer, which, you know, that, that's been around for 30, 40 years, and they've put in probably billions at this point in research, and um, while chemo has gotten better and more successful, they haven't really gotten uh, close to any kind of cure, as far as I know. Uh, or, you know, like, like other diseases where it's like, oh, yeah, there's no big deal. You know, chemo is a, is a struggle. Um, and, but the, the real thing about a lot of these alternative therapies that I'm doing, especially I think the fasting and metabolic, trying, doing the, you know, trying to be in a metabolic ketosis is the hardest one to, to implement, honestly. I'm still figuring it out. Um, but it's the kind of thing that anybody can do and will do better, right? Drinking green tea helps everybody. It's not something, nobody would do chemo without cancer, right? You're, you're specifically doing the chemo for cancer. But the ketogenic diet, I'm researching a lot now, and I've done a little bit with it over the last couple of years. The fasting, just tremendously uh, therapeutic for all diseases, really, it seems like. Um, so <clears throat> uh, that's very interesting that the standard oncology, they, they, don't even, they, don't, they don't even say, like, you know, stop eating Snickers bars right which i did occasionally do one of the things living down south now you stop at a gas station um every gas station and some have really good food <laughs> there's there's a place on uh, on jordan lane in, here in huntsville um has has a, a barbecue place it's actually actually really good um i i also tend to be someone who likes those little hole in wool places um but yeah uh that that's really um what i wanted to say for this morning again i'll be gonna be buzzing the rest of this um does look like i might even lose the beard because i noticed uh this morning in the shower just quite a bit more uh see my hair I was washing and then all of a sudden there's a bunch of hair in my hand i haven't had that but i haven't lost any it still looks pretty full uh but yeah i think that's everything i wanted to say for today um, have a great day, everybody.